to go for it. Okay, if we take this apart, we can see the ascending aorta. The first branches off the aorta, and the only branches off the ascending aorta, are the right and left coronary arteries. We put this back together again. We can see that the right coronary artery is going to travel in this uh, coronary sulcus here. Uh, it's giving off little branches to the right side, the right atrium, right ventricle. And we also have this uh, marginal artery coming down, feeding the right ventricle. As you go around to the posterior, it becomes a posterior um, interventricular artery coming down here, and it feeds both uh, ventricles. The left coronary artery branches almost immediately into the circumflex artery that feeds the left side of the heart, the left ventricle, left atrium. Very important branch, though, is the anterior interventricular artery, uh, also known as uh, left anterior descending, or some people call it the widow maker. It's going to feed both ventricles and the interventricular septum. Now the veins parallel the arteries pretty much. This is the great uh, cardiac vein coming back up. We have a small cardiac vein coming up and the uh, middle cardiac vein coming up. Uh, they're going to empty into the coronary sinus here, which then empties into the right atrium along with the inferior vena cava and superior vena cava coming in. Uh, we can see the opening here, deep down inside, for the coronary, uh, 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 the coronary sinus probably coming in. Okay. So that's uh, what feeds the heart. Uh, there are anastomoses in the vet blood vessels, but they're so small, the arteries actually act as functional end arteries. So if there's a blockage, it can, uh, can cause uh, death of the tissue beyond it. Uh, scar tissue, or maybe disrupt the uh, normal pattern for uh, conduction.